Hello friends, once again welcome to learnexcelmacro.com. My name is Vishwa and I thought of sharing with you a few Excel VBA tips every week apart from the videos which I publish for Excel VBA tutorials for the beginners. So these videos are going to have a few small code snippets or a few VBA tricks which you can use it while developing your Excel VBA tool. So these are not going to be a long videos or a long tutorials, but these are going to be a very short, short one where I can briefly give you a few tips which you which will be really, really handy for you to uh, for you to uh, to use it during your uh, Excel VB programming. So today I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, display or hide many objects which you see on Excel workbook using Excel VBA. So though Excel workbook already have uh, many, uh, many uh, properties which are already available uh, in built, which you can go and uh, select or unselect to, to display or hide those uh, features. For example, if you want to, uh, if you don't want to show the grid lines here in any worksheet, you can always, uh, you can always go and uh, uncheck this grid line. So you can see now there is no grid line available. Uh, similarly, this activity, I mean this property, you can always set it via VBA. Uh, for example, if you don't want to uh, show the headings, so you can always check this option and you can see the headings are gone. So this as well. So these are certain properties. You can see here this under view show height, which you can do it manually. Similarly, you can do it uh, via VBA as well. And these are very small uh, one liner statement, which you can use it and i'm sure these are uh, sometimes useful while while making uh, some uh, big excel vba tool where you really want to make it secure or you want to uh, uh, you want certain uh, formatting to be maintained and not give the control to a user who can play around with the excel workbook okay so let's start with it so what i'm going to do is uh, first we'll go to the excel vba uh, VBA editor of course that's where we'll be writing our code so press alt f11 and I have added a module because I like writing all these macros in a module and not in a in a worksheet directly so I will write it so let's write a sub function here and I will name it um, uh, let's say display options oops all right and then as i told you i uh, didn't i okay all right so all these uh, properties basically which we were talking about related to display they are part of uh, application active window object so before we set these uh, properties to true or false these are basically uh, boolean properties so whether you want to display it or you don't want to display it uh, you need to uh, go to the go to the active window object so um, to do that let's do this with application dot active window yeah. and with and what happens as soon as you type dot and d so you see a list of properties has already displayed here which are basically a boolean type properties which you can set it to true or false and based on that you can uh, display or hide many things which you can see and these names are very um, uh, self-explanatory so you don't really need to remember things like for example display formulas so if you say display formulas equals to true and if you run this code so all the formula which are written in that particular sheet now uh, to remember this is going to work on an active window so it means that the worksheet which is active right now it is going to display all the formula of that particular sheet all right so for example if the sheet one is active let's try that out yeah if sheet one is active and i say some of these rows for example so there is a formula here right now what i'm going to do is execute this is uh, this particular uh, sub function and right now the active sheet is sheet one all right uh, or maybe the best wouldn't be let me assign this macro so we can see here display option i will assign this macro to this button now okay 
as soon as I click this, since this is active window, okay, it is going to show me all the formulas which are there in this particular uh, sheet. So you see, as soon as I click, I can see the formula lying here. And for example, at the same time, yeah, at the same time, if I have written a formula here in this sheet, yeah, let's see. Now in sheet one, I go and run it here i can see that the formula is visible but in sheet 2 it is not so let's again run the same macro display option when sheet 2 is active so right now the active window is sheet 2 and when i say button 1 when i press it you can see the formula is visible it means that it is functioning only on the active window all right so let's go here in the code so this was about the display formula now the active window display formula is working on active window and sheet wise because the formulas belongs to a sheet so these are the like sheet 2 is right now active so under this whole workbook so you can say this workbook is active right now this is also one uh, active window and within that workbook these are the these worksheets are also another object and they can also be in an active or uh, deactive mode so sheet 2 is active it means that within this workbook sheet 2 is an actual active window all right so these are the certain uh, properties which belongs to a particular sheet and certain properties belongs to the whole workbook for example uh, if we talk about this uh, horizontal scroll bar this is actually not uh, part of the worksheet object this is part of the whole workbook object and how can you know that for example if i uh, um, when sheet 2 was active i changed the size of this scroll bar like this till here now if i go to sheet 3 still this scroll bar is like this and in sheet 1 still the scroll bar size doesn't change because this scroll bar is actually part of the whole workbook and it is not related to a worksheet all right so in this case no matter which sheet is active when we run this code to display or you know uh, hide this horizontal scroll bar or similarly like a vertical scroll bar then it will it will hide the it will hide the horizontal or vertical scroll bar it doesn't matter which sheet is active all right so let's see that example by doing that when i say display and here horizontal scroll bar and i say false all right and then let's run it so sheet 2 is active and now i'm going to press the button 1 because i have associated the same macro as part of this button 1 you see the the horizontal scroll bar has gone now we don't see that and if i go to sheet 3 same is the case because that was not part of the sheet and it was part of the workbook all right so similarly you need to see which object is basically part of workbook or is it part of worksheet and that's how it will function so, yeah so let's see a couple of more and then you can practice at your uh, work which went like display grid lines equals to false like display headings or display outline there are many things which you can try a uh, vertical scroll bar let's say here it is false like display ruler if you don't want to see you can set it to false similarly display white spaces or let's say display workbook tabs yeah again display workbook tabs it is part of the workbook and not part of worksheet so it means when i set this to false it means that i won't be able to see the name of any of the worksheet so let's run this program um, just by clicking off any of this button and now you see that I don't see the name of any worksheet all right so similarly you can yeah you can do all this display option by going to application.active window and then there are all these properties which you can set it to true or false during your uh, excel vba program development okay and that's it for now and uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you bye bye